Hi friends, uh, welcome to TechLake video tutorials. This session I am going to explain about difference between count star and count one. So most of the techies, uh, SQL developers will have a common uh, query on related to count star and count one. So uh, when you compare to count star and count one, uh, here I am going to explain with a sample example. I have a table called the MyTab, which will have a, you can see here, uh, 51 records, and I have another table called MyTMP which will have a 4 million records. You can see here, I have a 4 million records. It is getting a 0 0.01 seconds. So this is count star. When you are going for count 1, it is giving a 0 0.0191 seconds it is giving this. You can see here. So uh, when you compare, uh, when if you have a huge data, when you have a huge data, when you want to compare with uh, star and uh, 1, count star, uh, will have a little uh, difference uh, when you compare with one. One means so it will go to single column and it will give that uh, total number of records. Count star means all columns. So star means all columns will take from your table. If you have a huge table, it will take the count star from all your tables. Uh, whatever table, all columns, uh, it will give the count star. One means for a single column. So that is the only difference you can find. But uh, performance wise, you won't get a much uh, difference uh, performance only little difference will be there okay you can use a star or you can use one you can use a star or you can use one let's just see the cost based uh, execution plan if you look at here i have if you look at here you can see this is my uh, execution plan you can see uh, cardinality Okay, and you can see the cost 6000 because uh, cost based optimizer will be calculated based on your cardinality and it will give the uh, cost, uh, but maybe uh, it will vary uh, because uh, don't go for always uh, cost based optimizer. Maybe if your cost is more, don't expect that uh, you will be getting uh, late because it is taking longer time because it will take less time. Because the cost will be calculated based on cardinality, because here uh, there are huge number of records. Then same thing I am giving with a hint called parallel hint. Now you can see this here difference. Now it is came down, so almost 50% came down because that we used parallel hint. So if you are applying hint, uh, then it will uh, come down. The cost will come down. But the execution when you are going for uh, normal execution, you can see here. It is giving a 0 0.0116 seconds. Now, if you are going for this, it will take a little bit time. Why? Because if you are going for count star, uh, parallel, it will go for uh, multiple sessions. Okay. So, parallel hint will be used uh, and it will give a better performance if you are selecting direct data instead of count star or count one. Okay. Count star or count one will give a better performance. If you are going for parallel, if we are selecting huge data, that time it will give a better performance, but not for count star or count one. Same thing if you use this parallel hint. Now you can see. This is 4.2 seconds. So, now without using a parallel, you will be getting very fast. Okay? But when you are using inside queries like this count star or count one inside queries, if you are using inside queries, so don't use a star, use a count one inside queries. Like if you have a huge calculation, this inside query, if you are doing count star and use a parallel hint there and then use count one. Okay, use count one. So count one, uh, like or you can mention the column name. You can see here this is the column name and I am going for count one. So the, sorry, it's a different table. This is. So use count one will give a little a bit more performance compared to star. Okay, but you can't expect a huge performance like a, uh, if you are running a millions of records. If you want to get down from one hour or fifty minutes or 50, uh, ten minutes, that is not much difference. Only fraction of seconds there is a difference between count star and count one. So count one you can use here. It will give a better performance compared to count star. Why? Because count star is a more uh, columns it is going to check your table 
and one means it is going to check the first column that is one column so that is the only difference you can find count star and count one so when you uh, look at this count star and uh, count one the cost based optimizer will give the same you can see here 6676 cost same thing if you are going for so there is no much difference we will compare with the system uh, optimizer tool okay you can see cardinality and cost so this is the way we can go for using count star and count one so if you have a inside queries we are using a count star so instead of constant you can use a count one and the normal queries you can go for count star because if you have a huge data which is taking one hour or two hours and there you have many calculations inside a big query uh, thousand or two thousand lines of sql query so that time you can use uh, count one it will give a better performance compared to star compared to star but normally you can't identify here if you are running direct query because if you see here i have a four million records in this table 4 million records but uh, there is no much difference here you can't find much difference for individual uh, validations okay but only if you have a huge query logic there if you are doing the validations that time you can go for count one instead of count star so only this is the difference so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and more updates from my channel thank you